Hey Garrett, Retro Kit, hey, make us some of some of the finest and niftiest MIDI utilities and hardware. Yeah. I use the uh, RK006. Uh, yeah, the six almost we daily. Oh, that's uh, well, that's good to hear. <laughs> we uh, we do too. Yeah, now and here we also have it set up uh, as a useful tool for all the other stuff we made. So um, yeah, it's uh, really handy. But uh, it's good to hear all people here on our stand, which seem to have the RK6 as well and use it with a lot of fondness. <laughs> yeah, but um, last time we were here, we saw uh, your new, rather beautiful, looked like an old Commodore calculator, yes. the RK8. Yeah. Uh, and it was sort of pre-production then. I think uh, you sent me a unit, which I haven't had a chance to look at yet, but yeah. there's new firmware and stuff happening all the time, right? Yes, yes, we're still updating it. I mean, uh, they're all, we all have lots of ideas for the RK8. I mean, it started as a, sort of a modern replacement of an MMT-8. And uh, well, meanwhile, we've added uh, loads of new stuff to it. And um, well, last time we were on Super Bowl, we hear, heard, uh, heard a lot of people who wanted uh, multi-track length. And that's now uh, something which is uh, final. And uh, oh, as well, well we, should, we should probably say, what is it then? It's a, it's a MIDI sequencer, right? Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a MIDI sequencer. Well, a recorder actually, because it can record not only in steps like with a sequencer, but it can record real-time MIDI. So, if you just uh, wiggle a pitch bend or use a mod wheel, it all is recorded in the RK8. And um, yeah, you can do quantizing, of course. There are different uh, real-time modifiers on it, like uh, quantize bass here, or um, filtering like velocity, or transposing uh, parts of the, of the performance. So you have eight tracks, which can each hold 16 MIDI channels, and you can apply those uh, transformations onto each channel individually. Uh, wow, yeah. right. So you've been going to town on the firmware, so what what version are we at now with the firmware? Yeah, we're now at 2.0 because uh, the multiple track length, that was a big one, and we also added BLE support, so you can also now use like uh, small uh, devices like this and use them wirelessly with the uh, RK8. Excellent. So. Is this, is, can people buy this now? Is it something they can buy yet? Or yeah, certainly, it? yeah. We now, we still sell it from our own website and we also have a few uh, small shops who also resell it, like Signal Sounds and Perfect Circuit, which is not that small, actually. No, no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can get the RK8 uh, from our site uh, and And what's it, what's it retailing at? Um, we have this one, this is the one with the wood panels. This is about uh, 400. And then we have another one without panels here. That's uh, 350. Right. So you've got, have you got a sequence running on this at the moment? I mean, can you use it to perform with, do you think? I mean, how? how yeah, well, actually, I'm doing a performance this Saturday with it. So I hope that will uh, turn out uh, the way I planned it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can use it as a master brain because uh, you, you can have a lot of, it's, it's like playing with um, uh, Ableton clips. You can have uh, 100 parts in here, which can each have a uh, different uh, length on beats. Like this one is four beats, but you can go up to 600 beats if you'd want. And uh, you can change parts and change to different parts of your song, and it will queue up nicely on beat. So that's how you can make a song. And while you play the parts, you can mute and unmute. So you can uh, play with build-ups and transpositions and everything. Right. What would happen if you press play at the moment? Well, let's find out. I now have this running. I can add a um, clap on it. And so to demonstrate like the, the, the part length, I can now go to this uh, track which holds the kick drum. I can go to the step mode and I can change it to a different, different ah, beat. So you can almost like beat repeat, actually. Yeah. yeah, you could do that, but also like strange offbeat rhythms. You can make mayhem. <laughs> So, so this is connected to MIDI to uh, what? Yeah, well actually the drum sounds come from the OPZ, which is nice because this is actually a multi terminal unit and there are not that many. <laughs> and uh, the RK6 is uh, connecting all this stuff together. So uh, the whole, the, the, eight of the 8 and the OPZ and it sends out uh, 
DIN sync of a MIDI to the uh, oh, MD233. Yeah, okay. yeah. And the DIN sync is not connected, but RK8 can also send out DIN sync to it. Yeah. Right, so it's a I mean, really small and powerful sequencer, right? Yes, we have, yeah, we try to make a lot of uh, things possible in our little uh, devices. So. so where does the MIDI data live? Is it, is it an SD card, micro SD card or something? No, or? it's in, in the memory of the RK8. But uh, once you've saved it on the RK8, you can also just go to a PC and dump it as a standard MIDI file. So everything you've recorded on it here, you can just extract it on a PC and use it on a DAW later on if you'd like. Right. Or, uh, yeah. So what, I mean, if you're real-time recording, what sort of resolution is it running at? It's uh, like the, like the MMT8 MMT has. I think it's two times MIDI speed. What is it? Uh, uh, 96 I, PPQN I or? I always forget the PPQN value, yeah, well, but it's yeah. Okay, it's so it's a nice. decent, <laughs> it's decent, right, okay. Yeah. And yeah. that would record real-time controller information, note yeah, information, whatever. Yeah, it records pitch band controllers. Of course, well, the memory is the same as the MMT-8, so uh, 46K, 46, no, 64K. <laughs> right. 64K, and, um, but we have 16 banks of it, so it does provide more memory for making patterns, but I must say, if you use MPE, like, the, the whole multi-channel right. controller stuff, it will fill up pretty quickly. But therefore, we also have the, yeah, the tricks like the part length. So you can use really small portions of the uh, RK8 and repeat it and yeah, make, make songs with, with less data, actually. It's right. a different way of uh, making music, but uh, can be very rewarding. <laughs> thank you very much, Garrett. Okay, thank you, Mick.